Well, it's virtually good evening, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids, and you might wonder what I'm doing with uh, <coughs> some bits of uh, of a rugby shirt. Well, what I've done today, <coughs> I just throw that over there in the corner, and I'll show you because um, this is Tuesday, and I try and um, look at the Fragmapediums on a Tuesday. <coughs> And what I do at the moment is um, because I used I used to use um, fish blood and bone, but I'm not too sure now because I've got them in semi hydroponics. <clears throat> so I've made this feed up, and um, I think it came out at one fifty eight with a TDA, sorry with a pH of seven point one, and that's um, seaweed extract and some. Calmag. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm digressing. Look at these. Can you see? Isn't this the ultimate in uh, Fragmapedium fashion? Look at this. Can you see? <clears throat> Do you remember I used to have the uh, little strips of uh, coloured paper? Well, each one now has got its own little bespoke sleeve <clears throat> and uh, the bottom allows the holes there's the holes on that one and uh, there we go can you see okay so <clears throat> this one I've had to improvise because I was running out of material but um, they've all got the, the outer sleeves on now and uh, it was um, Michael, Michael McCarthy suggested that I get hold of some of Keith's old shirts and um, use the sleeves and, uh, <clears throat> and that's the result. So I'm going to take them out of these sleeves now and then I'll show you the roots. So bear with me. Now I didn't know whether to pull the sleeve down or pull it up. <clears throat> Reminds me of when you were a child and in those days you wore vests. There was no central eating and uh, sometimes <clears throat> and if you wore a jumper and your mother would always pull it up and she'd always get your ears stuck in it and oh she they used to be pained because she'd pull it off that tight. Anyway this one we're looking at now is uh, Fragmapedium Garam Weaver. Let's have a look at this one and then what I'll do after I've looked at each one Going to yeah. Right. What I'm trying to do is um, enable you to see these roots. Maybe I'm best. <clears throat> I always have trouble with these because they don't. They, uh, that's better. Right. <clears throat> so this is Fragmapedium Garum Weaver. And I had this on the 3rd of March, sorry, on March 18. And then uh, it was repotted March 19 and put into semi-hydro on uh, <coughs> 0120. And there you see, can you see? Let's turn this one round. Let's see whether or not <coughs> we've got any more roots. So, let me see. Right at the top. And, uh, ooh, look at these here. Can you see them? You probably see my reflection, can't you, there? There we go, you see? And a uh, nice new one there. And they're making the way all the way down. So this one's in active growth, this one. So I'm just going to put that into the path of water and the water will um, wick, be wicked up and um, and then I'll transfer it in there in the other one which is empty and what I do with that this has got the fertiliser in uh, if it doesn't wick it all the way up then I put it, pour it through the top then it goes in the other trough and the other trough gets poured through with just plain rainwater right so let's do the next one let's have a look at this one What's this one? This is this one here. It's from Burnham's Nurseries. This is uh, Fragmapedium Mary Bess. Okay, 
and this is one that I have had to put a little bit of sphagnum moss on the top because the newly emerging roots haven't found the way down yet. But let's have a look what we can see here. Can you see? There's the water level there. Can you see the the root down into the water level? It's gone past the water level. That's another root emerging there. Let's have a look up here. See if we can see anything else. I don't think so. I'm not too sure. Maybe that's one of the That's probably one of the older roots there, here. It's terrible for the light. Anyway, I'll pop that one in there. I can only use, usually put three in at a time because the, it brings the water level up. And uh, So three goes in here and then go, three go into the other one. Let's have a look at this one here, which is this one. This is another good one. Let's have a look at this one's um, Phragmopedium grande. And you see the roots there? Another nice root there. There's the water level there. And if we manoeuvre it around, there's one of the older roots, just there. Let's have a look. There's another new root. These are some of the older roots here and here. And uh, <coughs> did I show you that one? I can't remember. So there's another root there. I think I started with that root, didn't I? There. So let's put that one in. You can see how uh, high that water level's come up now. And you see. And so I'll just show you these three now, but uh, I'll continue to um, let the others fertilise and then I'll transfer them over there into the, the one where I give them just plain rainwater. And uh, so let's have a look which one we're looking at here. This is Andean Fire. Got a nice growth there coming. And uh, this is, um, that appears to be the, the old root system there. Let's have a look. There we go. Now is there anything showing any growing tip here. Maybe this is one. I think that one is, but it's gone it's gone behind there now and I think that one is travelling and gone downwards. And you see them here. those all along there and they come right up to here let's make sure there's none at the top that's why I wanted the um, the dark sleeve because some of the roots are coming out quite high up right <clears throat> so that's that one this one now is um, Phragmopedium ricteri some roots there. They're not actually showing active um, tips on them, but um, let's have a look. I think this has been one that's been a little bit slow to uh, um, to come into active growth. I've still got that little tiny active root there but it hasn't actually grown anymore and there's nothing at the top 
So that's Phragmopedium Ricteri. And this is the last one, is Phragmopedium Lastverinus. And uh, can you see when I say they can come out quite high up? To the right here on that side. There, see? And that's the level. So it's virtually right at the top. And we come down here. We've got roots coming through there. That's one of the older roots. I've got a nice root coming through here, down into the water reservoir. And that's an older root. And um, there's another root there. So that one is a little bit lower than that first one I showed you, which is right up there. There we see, right up there. So this one's uh, now started an active growth, which I'm thrilled to bits about. And uh, they all seem to be, have new growth, new leaves at the top. So uh, I'll be checking these shortly. And uh, like I say, these will stay in here, <coughs> each one, and I'll, uh, I've got a jug here where I'll pour it through and then as the next three go in, then these are transferred into the other trough and uh, they get the fresh water. So thank you for joining me. I just wanted to uh, show you the, uh, the state of the Phragmopediums, of course I've got some more, they're in the, the, uh, the smaller pots, uh, but because I've got so many, I will have to come back uh, with another video and I'll show you uh, how they're doing in um, semi-hydro. So thank you for joining me and uh, take care, I'll be back. Bye-bye <clears throat> now.